All right, everybody. Today we got another super badass gun from AEA. This is the Element 457 Max. Something like that. It's the Element Max. Today's video is brought to you by the Pellet Shop. This has to be the baddest AEA that I've ever reviewed, as well as one of the baddest PCPs. So in this video, we're going to give you an up-close look, along with some hardcore stats. We'll wrap that all up within the first five minutes. Then we're going to start blowing the out of stuff. So this dirty dog comes in 45, 50, 510, and 58 cal. Today we're looking at the 0.45. The Element Max likes 0.456 slash 0.457 diameter slugs. And for this video, I just ordered all 0.457 slugs. And I got some from Mr. Hollerpoint and some from NSA. Mr. Hollerpoint gave me a lot of good information on the Element Max as well as slug shooting in general. If you shoot on over to his channel, there will be a link in the description. He actually reviews the 510 caliber. Which 50, I mean the 51, the 510 diameter. That's what I asked for. Looks like a buffalo pistol, doesn't it? One of the things he said is that he would recommend 260 grain or lighter ammo. So the 4.5 cal slugs come up to 3, 4, 5, even 600 grains. But you guys want to stick with the 190s, 220s, 240s, 260s. The Element Max has a hammer action. It's a single shot, lightweight, big bore. It weighs just 5.2 pounds. Awesome. So that means even scoped up, you're going to be under 7 pounds. It's got a barrel length of 20 inches, an overall length of 37 inches. The stock is adjustable, so you can change your length of pull. As well, when you fold it, then the Element Max is just 27 inches overall. This thing's so light, you really could shoot it like a pistol if you wanted to. It says it's got a reversible swing hammer cocking system. Single shot loading, 4,500 PSI or 300 bar fill. The front air tube is 330 cc's. It says this 45 cal is going to give us up to 400 foot-pounds of energy. 50 is going to give you 450 foot-pounds. The 510, 480 foot-pounds. And the 58 cal, 600 foot-pounds. Just to give you an idea of the velocity we can expect, a 45 caliber 190 grain slug traveling out of this bad boy, 960 feet per second. So pretty amazing. The barrel diameter is 0.457. Barrel twist rate is 1 and 28. One of the coolest things besides the hammer on the Element Max has got to be that fluted barrel. This thing has just got some awesome styling. Looks like something straight out of a Terminator movie. As well, you got an M18 by 1 thread on the front, and so your Don EFL Emperor will thread straight on. No adapter needed. Once again, you can find this and a lot more at the Pellet Shop. The Pellet Shop sells FX... LCS, the Devil's Gun, which is a uh, Leshy 2, Air Force. Looks like they have some ammo there as well. All right, here we go. Ballastol safe for air gun seals. Crown Saber, safe for air gun barrels. So I just want to make sure my patch fits. So I actually pulled this dry. There's definitely the usual junk inside this barrel. So for the best accuracy and the best life of your barrel, you definitely want to clean that out. The Element Max comes with a fill probe that's already machined. It's super convenient. You just pop that fill probe right in the side. So I filled that bad boy with 300 bar with my Yong Hang. I was talking directly with Mr. Hollow Point. So I just had him send me 15 or 20 rounds of a few different weights of 457 caliber ammo. I've been hearing about Mr. Hollow Point for years, but I wasn't prepared for how nice his slugs were. Beautiful, beautiful ammo. Mr. Hollow Point actually filled me in on a lot of cool stuff, gave me a lot of great info. One of the things he told me is that air gun hunting, you should air gun hunt like you bow hunt. So you should get up within 75, 50 yards of the deer or whatever you're hunting. And then there's zero chances of a miss. As well, these bullets are designed in a certain way. Mr. Hollow Point has been designing air gun slugs for literally 15 years, and he's been hunting with air guns for the same amount of time. Because hunting with an air gun is completely different than hunting with, let's say, a 30 odd 6 rifle or even a compound bow. His slugs are specially designed to go in, dump all their energy inside the animal so that the animal doesn't make it more than 30, 50 yards away. 
And like I say, the designs of his slugs come from years of experience, trial and error, and he's the real deal. He really knows what he's doing, and I think you guys have seen his video. He's got animals hanging all over his walls. Here's a sample of the first ones I tried at 35 yards, 170 grain. 35 yards away, nailed it. Gonna try to get a little chronograph action as well. Spoiler alert, this gun's super accurate. I believe that's six shots right there. With just the first ammo I tried, which was 170 grain, four, five, sevens. Real quick before we shoot though, here's the FPS and foot pounds of some of the different ammo that Mr. Hollow Point sent me. First off are these super cute 170 grains. This is a headphone warning. This is gonna be super loud. I usually turn down the volume. 10, 15 decibels on the gunshots. I'm leaving this one full volume so you could just see really what this gun sounds like. And this is with the LDC on there. Once again, this is a 170 grain hollow point slug. That did kick like the dickens wow. though. Ooh. Dang, that's a fast ammo right there. Slug a rama. Next up, we got the Mr. Hollow Point 200 grain 457 slugs. That's 390 foot pounds, you guys. So, this is a heavy hitter. Next up, we got the 457 caliber 260 grains. And holy crap, that one is 460 foot pounds. Pretty amazing. And you guys, I'm going back in, filling the tank up to 300 bar. So, each one of these is what you can expect for your first shot. Which hopefully is your kill shot. And that one is delivering 452 foot pounds. Last, we have the heaviest ones that I got, the 300 grain, but these are not the heaviest slugs available in 457. And traveling at 833 feet per second, the 300 grainers are giving us a very special 462 foot pounds. So back to the 170 grainers. At 35 yards, I basically sighted in and just took me a few shots. All right, let's see where we hit. Sighting in officially, but. <laughs> I think we're sighted in, nailing it with the 45. Let me go air back up. We'll get this party started. All right, you guys, we're getting rained on right now, so I'm gonna do a couple official groups and then we have to pack it up for the day. Mr. Hollow Point said you don't need to bury your ammo into the breach. You just put it in there, snug it up. And you're good. Thousand feet per second. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Same hole in it. Could be I'm not sighted in all the way too. Quarter size group. So I just need to dial my crosshairs a little better. Darn, I don't really want to go air back up. I don't think I have time. Holy crap, you guys. Badass. Well, what do you expect? That was like our uh, seventh shot. Shoot one more just for fun. Yeah, we're down at 685. I'm gonna aim at the top of my bullseye for another bullseye. <laughs> nice, totally predictable. All right, I gotta pack it in. We're all, we're getting all wet and snowed up here. By the way, here's what happens to the 300 grain Mr. Hollow Point when it hits my thin 1/8 inch steel backing behind the target. Major expansion, and you can even see the ridges that were on the slug. Pretty crazy. So that hollow point design he's got going on really does his job. At 35 yards, every single one of the Mr. Hollow Points did perfectly. Oh, darn it. A little bit of a drop on my fourth one. I'm gonna sail one more in there. Actually though, I'm gonna aim a little bit high. Bam. They basically all shot exactly the same. 
So I had basically four identical ones, and then the 200s were just a teeny bit off. Now you guys, this one I'm gonna aim like an inch high. It's my fifth shot. And the top of the bullseye right there. Bam! Damn it! <laughs> Look at that, that's five shots with the 300 grain. Of course, the last one I aimed about an inch high. Pretty awesome though, that'll fit under a quarter, center to center, for sure. The 55 yard shooting was a little more telling about exactly how you would manage the shot string on this gun. We'll get to that momentarily. First though, let's knock the crap out of some stuff. All right, 300 blackout, here we go. <laughs> I thought that was going to happen. Oh, that made the biggest popping noise, you guys. I don't think I've ever heard a can pop like that. Okay, another thing I've never seen before is a five pound, eight inch tall target spin about 15 times. <laughs> oh, that was so sick. That was so cool. So now I'm five shots in. I'm right at the edge of the light green and the uh, dark green. Oh, I'm just gonna aim about that high. Bam, son! Bullseye! We are gonna nail some more targets at 55 yards, I think. First, check out this can. I've never seen a can this messed up. Being able to put 400 foot-pounds on target like that combined with the Mr. Hollow Point. These are soft cast lead. And you can see those things exploding off the steel targets. As well, check out what it did to this quarter inch thick steel. Squirrel did not appreciate being shot in the head twice. He's got a bent face now. We are gonna blow a few more things up. First though, let me show you my results at 50 yards. The guys over there at NSA had initially said they wanted to send some ammo for this video. 53 yards. But then when I told them what I needed, they just never sent it. But fortunately, these Mr. Hollow Points are working just fine. Mr. Hollow Point told me that if your hunting air rifle is shooting correctly, you should have a line of shots going straight down the paper. So that's exactly what happened with the heavier ammo. And the thing you got to realize is the gun's going to do the exact same thing every single time. So all you have to do is know where to aim, and you could probably put those through the same hole if you wanted to. That's how reliable this is, though. The other thing this gun doesn't do with the Mr. Hollow Points is it doesn't shoot flyers. So you're never going to have a wacky shot. That's huge. Especially if you're hunting. So with the lighter ammo, going over 950 feet per second, I believe, we get our first shots right on the money. And then it goes an inch or two down and gives us a quarter size group. That was with the 170s and the 260s. When I popped up to 300 grain, it gave us a quarter size group. And then the fourth shot was low. So it did basically exactly the opposite. And then with the 280, it gave us the traditional big bore air rifle hunting pattern that we would expect which is basically a nice neat line right down the paper so going back to the 200 grain let's say that I was gonna shoot this when I was hunting I would probably side in for that quarter size group right there 
and then I'd know that my first shot was going to be exactly an inch and a half high at that distance, and my next three would be right on the money. So different ways to manage that, but any way you slice it, it's super easy because of the reliability of this gun. All right, that's it for me on this one. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Don't forget to shoot over there and check out Pellet Shop. Might be a good idea to grab a Donnie FL LDC if they still have any available. That's one place that you can find them. As well, there will be a link in the description to the AEA Element Max 45 caliber that we're checking out today. All right, everybody. Till next week. Happy shooting. We'll see you in the next one.